Hello, we're back. You here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine. Confessions from the Quarantine is a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time of what happens on Confessions from the Quarantine. You send to me your daily problems about life, about love, relationships, whatever your issues may be. Please consider sending them to me. Adjust the hat. Make sure it's nice and set. How about that? All right, so you're going to be Father Al with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And what happens on Confessions from the Quarantine, you send to me your daily problems about life, love, relationships, whatever your issues may be, please consider sending them to me, Father Al, with confessions from the quarantine. What I'll do is I'll take all your information, jot it all down, and then reply back the following week with a common sense solution. I was just taking a peep at the feed. You may have an issue with a stalled feed for whatever reason. Uh, so the best way to remedy that is to go to the refresh button which is the circle arrow if you're on your using your desktop computer use the circle arrow which is should be on the left side for the most part of your address bar where you type in the url the www whatever so uh, click that refresh button and that will refresh the facebook page and you should be good to go from there so Again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You send to me your daily problems about life, about love, relationships, whatever your issues may be. Send them to me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine. And what I'll do is I'll take all your information, jot it all down, and then reply back the following week with a common sense solution. If by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope, of friends, family, loved ones, someone that will give it to you straight. I am here, Father Al, and I'm hopeful that I can help you out in moving forward in life, getting past some of your issues, giving some past your, your daily problems. So I'm hopeful that I can be the one that you can turn to that can assist you and help you move forward in life. Today is Saturday, March 26th. Season number two, episode not what, number 94. So on the show, what I do is I get all your information and I read off the letters, emails, text messages, voice messages that I get from you. And then I reply back with the common sense solution. If by chance, if I'm talking about some stuff that you have experienced, please interject your comments in the chat line. And then what I will do is I will read those off as well. Our Facebook and Twitter handle is confess the sins again hey terry again confess the sins is our facebook and twitter handle our instagram handle is official confess the sins again our instagram handle is official confess the sin click the like click the share click the thumbs up hey jody Click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up. Tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance you'd be watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, click the subscribe button. Again, click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up. Tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance you'd be watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, click the subscribe button. So, so far live, I've got Terry and I have Jody. Love you too, love you too, love you too, smooches, smooches, smooches. So, again, you're here with me, Father Al, with confession from the quarantine. If by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope of friends, family, loved ones, someone that will give it to you straight, someone that will help you move forward in life, I'm hopeful that I can help you out, even in some small way. All right, so let's go ahead and roll forward with the first letter that I received. Da, 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 da. Okay, it says... Um, all right, dear Father Al, after 23 years of renting a little house in an older established neighborhood, the present owner decided to sell. Of course, who wouldn't? It's a seller's market right now. 
I'm 73 and live on SSI right now, and I'm seeking specialists in degenerative spine, spine, left knee needs replaced, and now after taking care of a friend for 11 days who has who had a partial knee replacement, my left knee has gone bad. The property appears to have a buyer, but I can't find a decent place to live. Plus, no one to help me. I'm terrified I'm going to have to live on the street and I can barely walk to my mailbox. Signed, Knee. All right, Knee, I will help you out in a sec. So I also have Cheryl here. Love you too. Love you as well. So we got Terry. We've got Jody. We've got Cheryl. And we've got just now Paula. Love you four ladies. Smooches, smooches, smooches. So, all right. So I'm going to reply to me in a sec. And actually, uh, I've got some additional information from me as well. So here's a continuance of what I have from me. And after I read this part, I will reply back with my common sense solution for knee. All right, so knee says in continuance, so I've, I'm just looking for a small home, a small house, a guest house, a mother-in-law set up, usually a small attached apartment to a main house with its own entrance, a mobile home on someone's property, an apartment in a fourplex or duplex, you get the gist of it. It has to be bottom floor or street level. I have severe osteoarthritis of the spine, which comes with severe sciatic pain and weakness in my left lower leg. I am, retire I am a retired nurse of 46 years of service and unfortunately was forced to medically retire before I wanted. I love, being a, I love being a nurse and very proud of my profession. I am a quiet person, clean, and have a good credit rating. I'm just terrified I'm not going to find a decent place I can afford and because of the market now, I'll be homeless. I lost my best friend of over 50 years of friendship in September due to a heart condition made critical by COVID. She was also a nurse and was still working two nights a week as an ER charge nurse, a job she loved so much she couldn't just retire. I've also lost a few other close friends from this neighborhood over the years, so I'm pretty much alone and scared. I'm praying someone out there will be able to help me find a small place to live especially now that I'm going to have surgery, I'm putting it off as long as I can and the doctor allows until I know I have a place to live. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much from me to you. Signed, Nee. All right, Nee, I will reply back to you in a sec. So if you're dealing with a similar problem, you know, you've got some construction going on, you're renting somewhere and they're talking about kicking you out and you're kind of worried about having a place to stay, or you've been down that road before, please interject your comments in the chat line. Let us know how you were able to overcome that obstacle and move forward in life. So I'm going to reply back to me in a sec. Click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance you're watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, click the subscribe button. If you need somebody outside of your basic scope, someone that will give it to you straight, I'm here, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine. You can call me 24 hours a day. The telephone number you can reach me is area code 623-764-8893. 623-764-8893. One more time. 623-764-8893. You can also send an email to me. The email address is confess the sins at symbol gmail.com. Again, confess the sins at symbol gmail.com on the subject line. Go ahead and write dear 
Father Al, and in the body of the message, give me about 500 words or less, and then what I'll do is I'll take all the information, jot it all down, and then reply back the following week, following week, huh, with a common sense solution. So I'm going to roll forward and reply back to me. So this is what I have for me. All right, Nia, I've got a couple of options that you can try. You know, give it a shot since you were able to use the internet to contact me. I'm hopeful that you're savvy enough to be able to do some online additional searching as well. So this is what I've got for you. <coughs> Excuse me, try contacting some of the local churches. You didn't indicate in your letter where you specifically live. So try contacting some of the local churches in your immediate area. Give them just a brief synopsis. Don't overwhelm them with all the real details. You know, tell them where you are, your, um, that you've got leg problems, and you may be kicked out, you know, for the most part, of your rental property where you are now and you're looking for a place to go. If you're a member of a church, if you're a member of a, some sort of social group uh, of some sort, contact them, let them know what's been going on, but don't give them you know, all blow-by-blow blow details. Just give them a brief summary, something to work with. Okay, so that's the first thing that I was thinking about. The other thing that you can do, and I was thinking, yeah, this may, this may actually work. Go to a website called Craigslist, C-R-A-I-G, s l i s t dot com as i recall so craigslist dot com and on craigslist look for what they call a house sitter may find a house sitter a home sitter and see what opportunities are there you just need a place to stay and sometimes people may it may be just real real transitional and i'm hopeful that you have some sort of transportation to get you to these different locations but someone may actually just need someone to keep an eye out on their home you know they may have a room in the back you know somewhere on the property where you can actually stay there you know you put your clothes in a suitcase and you just kind of going from house to house you know every month or every other month or so so that could be an opportunity until you get some stuff sorted out in your life so again consider doing the uh the craigslist looking for uh, house sitting opportunities, possibly even a pet sitting opportunity long term. You know, a month, two months or so, you're at someone's home, you can stay there. But again, when you're drafting, when you're contacting these people, just write a real brief script introducing yourself. You know, hi, my name is, you know, your name, and you're in the city that you lived in, and you're interested in long term pet sitting opportunities where you will work on site, you know, on dash S-I-T-E, meaning at their actual property. So it's not like you go in and go, you know, leave there and come back the next day. You're actually on the site working there. Being that you're a nurse, that should be an additional plus. You know, if you've got your license, some sort of tangible proof that, hey, you're a, you're a reliable person, you can be trusted kind of thing, that will always help. So let them know, hey, you're not working as a nurse right now, but you're interested in doing some home sitting or even some pet sitting long term on site. Let them know that you have some disabilities, you've got your leg problems, don't have to go to all the details, but just tell them that you have some leg problems that you're dealing with now and you're looking for opportunities like that so try that craigslist fill it out i should go to the site and do some searching to find opportunities in your area the other thing and you're going to be doing a lot of cold calling in this suggestion is doing an online search for local realtors so go to your browser whichever browser you prefer and do a search like realtor near me it'll probably give you a whole bunch of realtors listed and their contact information and what you're going to be doing is pretty much the same thing as uh, you know when you're doing with the craigslist and searching and calling people is you're going to offer your services to these realtors and the property they may be managing per se or their client 
may be managing. So let's say if you have a person that's interested in selling their property, but they already have a property that they moved into, so the house is just sitting, okay, that's sitting around, they need somebody on site, for example, to let people in to view the property that is for sale. So you're pretty much like a, a home sitting security per se at these various homes. So that could be an additional angle that you could try with the realtors. Again, throw the whole, you know, I'm a nurse, you're a registered nurse kind of thing, throw that at them. That will provide some sort of um, sense of reliability element in there. And of course, also mention that you have leg problems as well. So yeah, contact the local realtors in your area, tell them, hey, you're looking for some uh, house sitting, property sitting, property management, oh, well, you know, property sitting um, element. Again, homes, apartments, you know, whatever, maybe even a commercial property, a big commercial property that may have a back office where you could crash, you know, you'll manage, you'll keep an eye out on the property in the back office if they can provide some sort of uh, sleeping quarters, you know, whether it's a, a portable bed, you know, as long as you got a portable bed, some place to shower. So try that angle as well. So again, contact the villagers. So that's, I think that that may provide some additional help for you. And again, write a short spiel uh, indicating, you know, your name that you, and what you're looking for and tell them that you, you're a nurse and the, that you have leg problem. So I'm hopeful that will help you out. Me, again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance, if you're watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, click the subscribe button. In the description, you're going to see a few links. The first link that you're going to see in the description is the friend of the father partner link. And when you click that link, what that will do is that will take you to a PayPal page. And on the PayPal page, you're going to see a few drop down options. The first set of drop down options is going to be the friend of the father partner program and the friend of the father partner program. That is the program that we created to help keep the program alive. And when you donate a mere $90, $90, what that will do is that will pay for the phone line, the 623-764-8893. That will pay for the phone line for an entire year. Yes, $90 will cover that for an entire year. We use the service with Tello. Tello is not paying me to say this, but it's an, an it is it. Eh, it is an inexpensive service. Its quality is good, but and the, and the price is really good too. Again, they're not paying me to say this, so we decided to go with Tello. We're really happy with the service. So if you donate to the Friend of the Father Partner Program, that is what we will use the funds for. The other set of drop-down options you'll see when you click that is the Living Legacy Program. The Living Legacy Program that is where we'll to we'll take donated laptops notebooks and Samsung Galaxy Notes. We, we, we take those and we refurbish them and then bring them back to Factory Reset and we donate them to senior citizens 65 and older with no income requirements. We're not going to ask them about gross. We're not going to ask them about, about net. None of that stuff. As long as they're 65 and older and they need a mobile device, hey, we've got a bunch of stuff in the back. And the reason why we chose the Samsung Galaxy Note is because the Samsung Galaxy Notes come with a built-in stylus and oftentimes the seniors have issues with their frail hands and they can't navigate with the phones so they can pull out the stylus and be able to tap on the screen to be able to navigate that way. We'll take the older real legacy Samsung Galaxy Notes, the four, five, six, seven, eight. And what we'll do, uh, what they can do is uh, use those, but they cannot use those as a mobile device. Okay, for the most, a phone rather, what they can use it for, for the most part, is a pretty much like a mini tablet because they're real legacy ones. You can't use those because of the older technology as an actual phone. So they can still use them as a Wi-Fi connected mobile device. If you donate one of the more recent ones, uh, the nine and forward, what those can be used for is the phone as well as the tablet. 
All right, so that is the difference between the two. We'll take both of them, the real legacy ones, the four, five, six, seven, eight, as well as a nine and forward. All right, the other thing that you're going to see in those sets is a reference to <clears throat> a reference to open and private. And when you donate to an open, that's where we'll tell any and everybody who donated how much to, what they donated. The private, that is where we'll keep who donated, we'll keep that information confidential. So that's the difference between the two. Also, you will see um, in, in there with the Living Legacy, if you want to donate financially to the Living Legacy program, what your funds will go towards is external devices for the seniors. Sometimes they want an external cam, sometimes they want an external mouse, sometimes they want an external keyboard. So when you donate financially, to the Living Legacy program, that is where your funds will go. The next link that you will see in the description is the themed merchandise link. And when you click that link, what that will do is that will take you to a cafepress.com page. And on the cafepress.com page, you're going to see all kind of great merchandise. The friend of the father <coughs> partner merchandise as well as the merchandise that has the eye and a devil heart and each of the seven deadly sins. I love greed, I love lust, I love wrath, all kind of cool stuff. So if you buy merchandise there, that will also help us keep the program alive. The URL to that page is www.cafepress.com slash, the one that's leading to the right, confess the sins again www.cafepress.com slash confess the sins all right the third link that you're going to see in the description is the father al wish list and if you've been around a while you know you will see that people have been donating very fine cigars to me as a gift of appreciation for helping them out even in some some small way so if you want to share some love to me, Father Al, for helping you out in some small way or just in general, you know, please consider clicking the link and it will take you to an Amazon.com page. You're going to see all kind of great stuff, stuff there. You're going to see golf accessories, cigar accessories. So click the link and then what it will do is it will take you to the Amazon.com page and check out some stuff that's there. Order something, have it shipped to me, and I will be very grateful. So that is what you're going to see in the description after this live broadcast. You will see on my personal Facebook feed, Al Jones was live at Confessions from the Quarantine. That way you can watch the show again and again. Later on tonight, I'm going to create a rebroadcast on YouTube. So if you have friends and family that do not have a Facebook account, they can watch the show on YouTube. Tomorrow morning, what I'll do is I'll create a rebroadcast that is also available on Instagram. So that is what I've got. Again, click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance, if you're watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, click that subscribe button. So, so far I've got Terry, I've got Jody, I've got Cheryl, and I have Paula. Love you four ladies, love you, love you, love you. And Cheryl <coughs> mentioned in her live feed, it says, thanks, hope I can find a permanent place. Hey, I'm hopeful that the advice that I replied to for me should be able to assist you out and give you some general ideas. And others that are out there, if you're looking for a different place to live and you wanna try something you know, long-term, just you know, give you an idea that you could do some long-term house sitting kind of give you a different environment you know on a, on a regular basis if you're a senior citizen and you're looking for you know a place new okay you know you're tired of where you're living now just kind of want to try some new stuff consider doing the long-term house sitting contacting realtors say hey you know i'm a stable person and i just want to try you know some new stuff a new environment and try that you may find hey some great places some you know big home and they just need somebody, some eyeballs that are on their property. And they may even have a swimming pool and stuff that's there. And hey, as long as you're there, and they may even pay you. Imagine that. So especially if you're low on income and somebody will pay you 
just to hang out in their property. They see you're reasonably reliable and hey, you got a place to live. So get that a shot. And if that has helped you out in some way, let me know what has been going on. So you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today is Saturday, March 26th, season number two, episode number 94. So I'm going to go ahead and read off the very last one that I have. All right, so the last one I've got, it says, Dear Father Al, I am a single mother. I have two children. My son is 14 and my daughter is 12. Their, their potential grandfather lived in California. He loved these grandchildren. He drove here to see each of them soon after each was born. We stayed in touch. I would drive the three of us to see him in California. The kids loved him very much. He made me happy and each of my kids. Unfortunately, he contacted COVID and died recently. How can I cope with my family and children? Signed, Concerned Mom. All right, Concerned Mom, I will reply back to you next week. I'm hopeful that you can hang on with me until next week. So if you have some family, some friends and loved ones who have recently died, of COVID, they're going through you know the hospitalization and whatnot with COVID. Please interject your comments along the chat line and let us know how you have coped with that thus far. So you're here with me, Father Al. We're gonna sign off a bit early. You're here with me, Father Al, with confessions from the quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope, friends, family, loved ones, someone that will give it to you straight. I'm that guy. And I'm hopeful that you can count on me, Father Al, with confession from the quarantine to provide some sense of stability, some sense of guidance in your life. So you're here with me, Father Al, with confession from the quarantine. Click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance, if you're watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, Click the subscribe button, and until next week, love you all. Smooches, smooches, smooches. Got a little tobacco in my mouth from this cigar. <laughs> so, until next week, go in peace.